Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Gemini in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for August 2021. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below in the description box. Okay, Gemini, let's see. So. You're standing in your power with the Nine of Pentacles. You are focusing on your career, your expansion, your growth. I'm hearing that you are well off. Maybe talking to a couple of people. You are being admired for your hard work and dedication. Some people are jealous. They, they are jealous, you know. That's their problem. Because you are living your best life. Two more shuffles for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for August 2021. One, two. The Lion's Gate. Of course. <laughs> Go check what the Lion's Gate is. It's very interesting. And it, it's a portal, yes, that uh, opens on the 8th of August every year. And it's going to affect you. It does affect everyone. So, Gemini. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Infinite possibilities. You are holding the whole world in your palm. And you know it. And it's so exciting. <laughs> I love this. First card for you is the King of Swords. Gemini, this is your energy. You are totally standing in your truth. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love it. Page of Swords. Communication. High Priestess. Communication, eight of wands, and fast movement. But this is like significant communication. This is communication with substance. It's not like blah, blah, blah. No, it's not like that. The tower. The seven of pentacles. Whatever you have been doing, you are being, you are doing it right. It's going to pay off. This is, this comes in unexpected, unexpectedly. Is that a correct? Unexpectedly. It's like, you're not, ex you're not expecting this. You're hoping and wishing for it, but it comes in as a surprise. Yes, Ten of Wands. And this is the end. of the hard work. Mm 
you see. This person has worked hard and has been waiting to collect. It's time for you to collect, to receive. Yes, the Six of Pentacles, you are being admired. People are taking notice of you. I want to clarify the King of Swords. The King of Swords and the Page of Swords. This is good news. This is sudden good news. Unexpected good news. Six of Cups. It could be from someone from the past. Or this could also mean A new entrance of a soulmate. This is good news. Gemini. This is coming in. Yes, the Ace of Cups. This is, it could be that you are talking to someone. This could be some, someone that you met recently. Someone that you feel that you have known from the past, it's like that feeling that, oh, I know you from somewhere. This is a, a, a strong um, soul connection. This is a connection that has a lot of potential to grow and become more. And I feel that is mutual. It's like mutual, yes? It's not one-sided. And with the High Priest, this is like this familiar familiarity. This like, I know you. This is what I'm getting, I know you. This is also the vibe of a past life connection. The High Priestess. The High Priestess, please. For Gemini. And the Eight of Pentacles. Now I'm going back to your, um, your career, your job, your business. This is something that you have been working hard for. And as I said, it's going to pay off. The devil, this is also a contract. Like a karmic contract. And it, it doesn't, because of the devil, it doesn't mean that it's negative. Don't see the devil. The devil is not always negative, you know. Huh? Because he's the devil. No, 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 no. This is a contract. 
that is moving forward, that is taking place. And it's going to bring a lot of joy with the Three of Cups. You know, the devil, for me, it also represents the 3D reality. So, this has, this, this, this success has a lot to do with your 3D reality. The way you live, the way you make your money. I want to clarify the Six of Pentacles for Gemini. The Six of Pentacles for Gemini. The King of Pentacles. This is a businessman, a business owner, a manager, a boss. This is the boss. This is the king of pentacles. And I feel that this is you. This boss, whoever this is, is choosing you. You see what I mean? There are two people here. This, this person is choosing you. It's choosing your ideas, your energy. This person is taking notice of you. This person wants to work with you, wants to collaborate with you, wants to give you a chance and I feel that this has to do with career. This is business. This is career. This is projects. Could this be also love? I feel that the love part is up here, but let's see. Yeah, this is clearly career business, business opportunities, because you have been fighting for this. You are fighting off also competition. Someone here is definitely seeing your value. And sorry if I'm repeating. This person wants to give you a chance. This is very interesting because this is the second time I'm, I'm seeing this. Like it really wanted to come out. And now I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. It's like this person is giving you a chance. As I said, it could be that there was also someone else. But you have beaten, beaten uh, competition, the competition here. So this opportunity is coming towards you. This opportunity, this offer is coming towards you. So this Ace of Pentacles is giving you the chance, the opportunity to plant a new seed. You're not seeing this coming. You are not. As I said, this is going to be a surprise. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles, this new seed that is going to be planted. You, yeah, you have been waiting for this. You have been waiting for this chance and it's on its way. Let's, let's clarify the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here for Gemini, please? Why is the tower here for Gemini? The Ten of Pentacles. This is abundance. 
abundance. The Ace of Pentacles, when it's planted, right? The seed, when the seed is planted, right? Slowly, slowly, if you have planted your seed in a fertile ground, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten. And you have done the work. You see what I mean? You have done the work. And this is you receiving the fruits of your labor. And the Ten of Pentacles was clarifying the tower. So this is going to be a surprise. A happy surprise. A deserved surprise. Deserved surprise. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. One more for the Ten of Pentacles and the Tower, please, for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. We have the King of Cups. This is emotional satisfaction. It's not only about the Pentacles, right? I mean, yes, we want the Pentacles, but it's also that emotional satisfaction that, yes, I did it. My work did pay off. Mm. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, and the four of pentacles. Uh-huh. More pentacles here. Eight of swords. Now, this with the four of pentacles and the eight of, eight of swords is a bit of a restrictive kind of energy. But look at that. <laughs> and again, we have a ten of swords, an ending. Ten of wands, ten of swords. It could mean that you were saving resources, money. It could also mean that you were gathering information, knowledge, experience, and it does pay off because this is a very abundant energy. She is very abundant. Look, she has everything she needs. And she made this on her own. This is the energy that I am picking up from your reading, Gemini. And it's like, you're going to be so proud of yourself, but also other people will be proud of you of getting here. Yeah, exactly, like plans, the plans, the plans that you have made, that you, the plans that you have made are, are, are turn, turning into, into reality. And for a couple of you, this is like a new business or something like that. It's like you're starting something on your own. Because she is a businesswoman. She's the boss. People look up to her. Now, let's go back to the love here, to the love story for Gemini. For Gemini, please, in August. The Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups for Gemini, please. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Four of Swords and the King of Wands. Lion's Gate, okay? Go check out what Lion's Gate is. It's a portal that opens on the 8th of August every year, every year. And this portal will affect you also. It does affect everyone, so. Now this King of Wands here, this is fire energy, Leo Sagittarius Aries. It doesn't have to be um, 
a fire sign, but that's the energy of, um, of a fire sign here. It could be that you are Now this is this energy, this king's energy, like he is in a pause. It's like this king is uh, resting, is taking a pause from the connection from you, but will communicate, will soon take action towards you. This person is going through a major transformation, a positive one. Now, Gemini, it could be that you haven't met this person yet because this person is in that healing process, in that paused energy. Mm -hmm. For a lot of you, this is someone new. And for others of you, this is someone from the past that you just not in communication with, but soon will be. Because of a sun, we have that energy of coming together. And with the three of cups here, it's like um, coming together, having fun, coming together. The sun and the three of cups, please, for Gemini. We have the three of pentacles. This is a celebration. And again, with the three of pentacles, this is a celebration This is a success. Again, I'm getting the same message here, success. When it comes to your projects, your career. And your business. I wanna clarify one more time the King of Wands here. This King of Wands for Gemini, please. The King of Wands for Gemini. We have the Knight of Swords. It's like this person is sleeping, is resting, is not in communication, is not in contact, and then they just rush in because the time is right. Yeah, you see? This is a very passive energy, and then it becomes active, passive, active. And I also want to clarify the King of Cups, because there are two kings here. So what about this King of Cups? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, please, for Gemini. We have Temperance and the Queen of Wands. But you're not seeing this, you see, you're not seeing this coming. Because someone is watching you. Someone is watching you. And as I said, for a lot of you, I feel that this is a new person that is admiring you. This person is admiring your strength. Your, your playful energy, your confidence. One more. This is person wants to show themselves to you. This person wants to woo you, to win you. And they know that it's going to be a hard task because you are a catch. 
and because you know your worth. But they are willing to fight for you. And the Ace of Wands is also the phallic, a phallic symbol. It is a phallic symbol. But you see, you're not, you're not, you're not seeing this person. You're, you're not, you haven't noticed this person because it, it feels like they have not yet shown themselves. It's like they're hiding because they're not ready. They're, they were not ready. They were not ready, but I feel that they are now, whoever this is, okay? Let's see what's the advice from spirit. What is the advice from spirit for Gemini? What is the advice for Gemini? Embrace your sensitivity. Your sensitivity is the sacred getaway to your intuition. It's that special receptive radar that picks up energy and signals. In fact, your sensitivity is one of your greatest assets and the key to your survival and success. I do, I'm gonna add that, okay? The more you connect with it, the more miracles and synchronicities you'll attract. Now, let's see what is your spiritual message. Spiritual message for Gemini. self-knowledge initiation the gate the portal of the lion's gate storm after the storm what happens after the storm the sun comes out universal law everything in the universe consists of energy formed in the different vibrations all that is experienced and created in this life is a result of the magnetic law of attraction through this law energies of the same type come together whatever you focus on will come into your life the universe will never judge you and as such makes no distinction between good and bad. It only organizes energies according to similarity. Today, create a vision for your life. Feel your vision, feel that feeling and radiate it through your mind, body and spirit. Hold that feeling, meditate on it, become it. And very soon you will have many manifestations of your highest vision for your life. Gemini, if this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.